Hey guys, here I have another little nighttime beauty to share. This is the Virginia Creeper Sphinx, a very attractive native moth in the Northeast US. These moths use Virginia Creeper and grape plants as hosts where they will lay two to three eggs at a time. And check out his fantastic proboscis or tongue, which he is adjusting. These moths are nighttime pollinators taking over while the bees and other insects are at rest. Most moths will vibrate their wings like you see here to keep up the temperature necessary for flight. This shivering will warm up the flight muscles and allow them to take off on a moment's notice, even on cooler nights. As you can see, his coloring resembles army camouflage and helps the moth blend perfectly into the vine-filled, woodsy areas where they are found. They also have these beautiful orange antenna, which match the hindwing, which unfortunately is hidden at the moment, but we may see later. I just happen to have some Virginia creeper here on my deck, so let's see if he will be more comfortable hanging out there until he's ready to go. Okay, so there he goes. And now you can catch a little glimpse of the orange hindwing peeking out there. One good to know fact is that the caterpillars of this species, and actually many species of hawk moth, have a horn at their posterior end, which can make them appear to be a tomato or tobacco hornworm, although they are not. So if you spot a horned caterpillar around your garden, do not be alarmed unless it is actually on your tomato plants. This species will not eat your tomatoes or peppers. So as always, thank you for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed this short visit with another one of nature's beautiful and lesser-known moths.